Despicable Me 2 returns with Gru, voiced by Steve Carell, that is no longer on the path to world domination, but in fact is just trying to be a good father. That is until the Anti-Villain League requests his help in tracking down a major supervillain. With the help of his little yellow minions and his new obnoxious partner, Lucy, voiced by Kristen Wiig, they embark to try to catch this villain who they believe is hiding out in the local mall. All in all, the movie was okay. I was never the biggest Despicable Me fan, and this movie did nothing to change that. It's a kid's movie, and there's nothing wrong with that. It's cute and goofy, and it sends a good message about love and family and working together and every other wholesome moral lesson you can put into a kid's movie that features a fart gun. Granted, there were parts in this movie that were pretty cool, and had super sweet moments, especially with Agnes. Honestly, I'd watch a whole movie just about her. And of course, the minions were everywhere. I'm actually pretty sure they had equal to and or more screen time than Steve Carell's character. Overall, Despicable Me 2 was good in the fact that you could just totally check out and not have to think too much about when watching the movie. And you got to laugh at Russell Brand trying to voice act. So sure, Despicable Me 2 is worth the price of missing, just because it's just plain silly. Do you think the whole Despicable Me franchise relies too heavily on the minions, or do you think I'm just totally off base and you should stop reviewing movies? Tell us in the comment section below. And make sure to like us on Facebook, tweet us at POA Reviews, and to subscribe to this channel. This is The Price of Admission.